Let's continue to read Psalm 78, a mask out of Asaph. O oh, my people, hear my teaching. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter, utter hidden things, things from of old. What we have heard and known, what our fathers have told us, we will not hide them from their children. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders he has done. He decried statutes from, for Jacob and established the law in Israel, which he commanded our forefathers to teach their children so the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born. And they, in turn, would tell their children. Then they would put their trust in God and would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. Mm. A lot here, just on the first part, right? <clears throat> Think about this. This is one to bring past to present. Are there traditions in your family? Are there things that have been passed along? Heirlooms? Are you an heir? <laughs> uh, have things? I mean, you know, people even go as like, for instance, um, people think of stuff that's um, traditions, you know, traditions. I have one. I have one, you know. So, you know, you have in like marriages and stuff, you may have rings past, wedding dresses, shoes, <laughs> things of that nature. But, I, you know, and, and, and it goes by culture and goes by uh, community. I have one. Um, one thing that I learned that was passed down to me and I very appreciative mom <laughs> is I learned how to make tamales. There you go. There you have it. Um, that knowledge was passed down to me, you know, and it's taken me years to perfect it in my own way. I can't say that mines are as identical as what I grew up with or what I'm even used to, but I've been able to take something and make it my own, a tradition and make it my own. And so... One thing that is tasked is for us is the spreading of the Holy Word. And we can make it a tradition if it's not already so, right? One thing is to pass down from generation to generation. And I thank my parents. I, as an example for myself, I thank my parents because without my parents, I would, there may have been a chance that I didn't come to know the Lord. I wouldn't, it, or maybe it took longer or maybe it maybe never have happened. But I am grateful for that. And that may have been something that could be considered a tradition, passing down knowledge, passing down who to seek the ultimate wisdom from, the actual wisdom from our Lord and Savior. Whew. Psalm, the book of Psalm. What have we heard and known? What our fathers have told us? What will not hide them from their children? We will not hide them from their children. And that information was not hid from me. And I thank them. So, in your life, what can you be thankful, grateful for? What can you see as tradition? What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 